So welcome to Tuesday Express. My name is Ellen. We are doing bar core today. You don't need any equipment. Bar is sort of a blend of Pilates, ballet, and yoga. We're focusing mainly on the core. This is going to be a quick 20 minute workout. We will start with a warm up, which is going to get our heart rate up and get some movement going, get our bodies going. So let's start with those hands. Actually, once your hands on your ribcage, your fingers, and what I want you to do is think about pulling your abdominals away from your fingers, meaning that you're gonna sort of tuck those hips under a little bit and keep that core nice and strong. So fingers right on your abs. I want you to think of pulling your abdominals away from your fingers. All right, we're gonna start with just a march here. You can now move your hands to your hips, but nice and tall. Little cardio to get started. You're just lifting one leg at a time. Knee to your chest. And we're keeping our shoulders down and chest lifted. So just lift and lower. I'm just going to show you from the side. Keep going. Notice my back is nice and flat. I want you to pull those abs in towards your spine. Lift and lower. Couple more here. And then we're going to add our arms. So reach up and you're going to pull down as you lift, I have my arms up wrong, as you lift your knees up, you're going to reach and pull, lift and pull, down, lift. So bringing those legs up, pulling those elbows down, getting that heart rate going. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three. You're going to keep going, just add a twist, twist. And twist, warming up those obliques. Reach and twist. Opposite elbow to knee for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect. Let's open up to a plie squat. Open up those hips. You're gonna drop those knees right on top of your toes. Hands on your hips. We're gonna drop down for two and lift for two. Just a quick warm up. Just warming up those legs, opening up those hips, drop and lift. We'll do one more slow, down for two and lift. And now we're just gonna do singles, eight and lift, seven. Now I want you to press your hands together at prayer. Shoulders down, chest up, four, three, two. We're gonna hold it nice and low here and just pulse and pulse. So still tucking those hips under, warming up the legs, pushing into those hands, shoulders down, pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. You're gonna keep your legs here, extend your arms out. I want you just to do a little bend in those elbows and a little press and press. Imagine you're pushing against two walls. So we're still pulsing with the legs, but now also pressing those hands straight up and press. Just warm up that upper body. Keep it up for eight and seven. Six, pull those abs in. Four, three, two, and one. Let's now take our hands behind our ears. You're gonna stay low in this plie squat. So it's all about the core today. We're gonna warm up those obliques. You're gonna go to the right, come back to center, go left and center. Right and center left and center. You're bringing the top of your rib cage to your hips. Four more for four. Fill those legs for a three. Chest up, two, and one. Extend those arms. Lean forward slightly. Continue your pulse. So we're gonna finish it out. Couple more pulses, arms extend. Core nice and tight. Extra challenge, lift those heels off the floor. We've got eight, seven, Six, five, four, keep breathing. Three, two, and one, and then relax. Woo! So, just a real quick warm up. That was four minutes. Shake it out. We're gonna get into this workout. So, hopefully, you've gotten that heart rate up and you're feeling a little bit warmer. So, our workout is different from the warm up. I have seven exercises for you all, okay? I'm just gonna show one at a time. And what we're going to do is 10 repetitions. So a little different from what I normally teach, which is usually time-based. I'll show you exercise one. These are all bar, core, Pilates style. You might be familiar with some of them. 
and some might be new to you. First one is a plank leg lift. And we'll start with that right side. So all you're doing is finding a strong plank position, lifting up and down. So notice that it's a really small, tiny lift with my right leg. You may choose to do this with the other knee on the floor for a little extra support. We're gonna do 10 on the right and then move into a fire hydrant kick. I'll show that and then we'll get started. So fire hydrant, tabletop lift, you're gonna have a kick. Lift and kick, lift and kick. Getting those hips, okay? So let's come on down. So you can count 10 on your own and maybe go a little faster or slower than I'm doing or you can do all of them with me at my pace. Here we go, we're in our polite position. You want to tuck those hips under, and we're gonna do 10 leg lifts with the right leg. Here we go, you can follow me or go at your own pace. Lift one, two, three. Remember those options? Four, maybe that other to use on the floor. Five, giving you extra support. Six, neck nice and long, seven, Lift eight, lift nine, one more, 10. Tabletop, same side, fire hydrant kick, right leg. Lift and kick for one, and down. Two, so you lift and kick, at the same time, three. Four, it's a little side crunch action going on, five. Doesn't matter how high that kick is, six. Seven, mine's pretty low, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, exercise three, plank leg lifts, other side. Left leg, here we go. Same exact one, left leg. Lift up, one, and lower. Two, leg is nice and straight. Three, four, you can do this with that knee on the floor. Five, keep going. Six, seven, it's a small lift. Eight, keep your back nice and flat. Nine, squeeze those glutes. 10, fire hydrant, lift and kick, left leg, here it is. Lift and kick for one, and two. So on this side, I can't get as high. Three, that's okay. And four, remember you can just follow with me. Five, six, or you can go a little slower, or a little faster. Seven, here's eight, nine, one more, and 10. Okay, next exercise. We're on a number five. This is a straight leg pull, very similar to Pilates. So if you have that foam block that I mentioned in the beginning, you have a little, show you a little trick here. All right, straight leg pull, or like scissors, okay? So you pull right and pull left, that's one. Right and left, that's two. So you can do this with your head down, hands under your hips. If you have that pillow or block, place it up against, your head, neck, and shoulders, lift them off the mat, and just hold that block there. You don't reach for your legs. You still do the same motion. But that's gonna make sure that your neck muscles don't take over. So if you have that, you can use it. First round, I'm going to just reach behind. Okay, here we go. You're gonna do 10 on each side. So I'm gonna go right and switch. That's one, two, and switch. Three, and switch. Head, neck, and shoulders are lifted. Four, and switch. There's a little pulse there. Five, you're looking at your toes, and switch. Six, your back is super flat. Switch. That's the most important part. Seven, low abs. Woo! Eight, again, if you're feeling that neck, just drop your head down. We've got nine, and you got one more set here. Ten. All right, so staying down here for our next exercise, I call these frog legs. So hands under your hips or behind your head, or use that block. You're gonna open the knees up, heels together, as if you're doing a frog jump, right? Or like a butterfly. And you're gonna press straight out as you inhale, and then exhale, bend the knees, and bring them back in towards your chest. Here we go, let's start with those heels together. Inhale, extend straight out, and then exhale, pull them back in. Heels are glued together. Inhale out, exhale in. Again, back is flat, chin is lifted. Inhale out, 
Exhale in, low abs. For four, and pull it in. For three, now the lower your legs go, the harder this becomes. I was counting down instead of counting up. This is number seven. Press out, and in. We've got eight. Remember, shin is lifted. Nine, one more. Press out, 10, and relax. Woo! Okay, we have one final exercise, and then we're gonna repeat that. This is called a teaser in Pilates. I like to call it a roller boat. So you're gonna lift up, reach behind those knees, you're gonna roll back, and then come back up to a balance. So that's all areas of the core. Extra challenge, you roll back, and then once you're here, you lift the arms and the legs for this little extra. We're gonna do 10 of them. Pull those abs in. This one, I want you to tuck your chin so you don't uh, roll onto your neck and your head here. Here we go. Inhale, roll. Head does not touch the floor. And then exhale, we lift. Maybe extend the arms and legs. Repeat. Inhale. And exhale. That's two. Inhale. And exhale. That's three. Any version of this. Inhale. Exhale. That's four. Maybe your feet touch the floor and you just lift your chest. Inhale back. Exhale, lift. That's five. So I'm doing a little bit less intense version. Inhale. Exhale, lift. That's six. Inhale. Exhale, lift. That's seven. Remember, head does not touch the floor as you go back. Exhale, lift. That's eight, but it's nice and tall once you're seated up. This is nine. Chest is loud and proud. And last one. Ten. Woo! All right, we're going to start and do that all the way from the top. Here we go. Remember, it's for reps, so you can stick with me or go at your own pace. Plank leg lift, right leg. Let's go. Right leg. So I'm going to count down 10 for the second round. Nine. Eight. Notice how nothing else in my body is moving. Seven. That should be the same for you, too. Six. Remember, you can lower that knee. Five. Maybe even lower your forearms. Four. Nice and slow from the glute. Three. Nothing else is moving. Two, and one. Fire hydrants with that right leg. Tabletop, here we go. Lift and kick, 10. Lift and kick, nine. Eight, I'm pointing my toes here. Seven, six, whew. five, four. Getting those obliques. Three, obviously the hips. Two, last one, boom. All right, left side, plank leg lifts. Here we go, counting it down, leg is six straight. Lift up for 10, and lower. Nine, extra challenge. Your toe never touches the floor. Six, maybe that knee is on the floor, extra support. You've got four more. Keep those hip bones facing the floor for three. Head is not up or down, somewhere in the middle, last one. And fire hydrant kicks. Find that tabletop nice and strong. Lift and kick for 10. Left leg, nine, eight, keep it up. Seven, six, remember you can go a little bit slower. I wouldn't recommend any faster, just stick with me. Four, three, make sure you're moving to a full range. Two, and one. All right, our straight leg poles, our scissors, our next. Hands can be underneath those hips and head down. If you want extra, lift the head, neck, and shoulders. Here we go. Pull right and switch. Pull left. There's a little pulse there. And switch. You're looking right up at your toes. Point them. Three. And switch. Four. And switch. Back is pressed into the mat. Five. And switch. Six. Keep breathing. And switch. Too much for your head. Can take it down seven and switch to keep your back flat. Eight and switch. Come on, lift a little higher. Nine, look up at those toes. Last one, right and left. Here we go. Frog poles. I'm going to grab my block, place it right behind my head, or maybe you're just using your hands. Heels together, open the knees. Inhale, kick out, and then exhale, pull it back in. That's one. Inhale for two. Exhale in. 
Inhale, three. Remember, the lower you go, the more challenging this is. So try to run a little lower. Four. Exhale, in. Keep your back flat. Inhale, five. Exhale, in. Lift your chin a little higher. Six. Exhale, in. Lift a little higher. Seven. Exhale, in. Drop your legs an inch. Eight. Ooh, feel that shake. Exhale, in. Nine. I'm feeling the shake. Last one. Keep that chin up. Inhale and exhale. Perfect. Here we go. We have our teaser roller boat. Remember, this one you do tuck your chin and do not allow the back of your head to touch the floor. Roll back. Inhale. You're in a nice ball. Exhale. You lift up. Try to keep those feet off the floor. Do it again. Two. Maybe extend the arms and legs. Three. Inhale. Exhale. Lift. Four. Inhale. Exhale. Lift. Five, woo, feeling those abs. Exhale, lift. Inhale, exhale, lift. That's six, you can just do feet on the floor, but lift that chest. Here's seven, exhale, lift. Inhale, eight, exhale, lift. Try it, nine, exhale, lift. Let's try one more. Down and extend, perfect. We have time to do one more final round from the top. Here we go, plank leg lifts, right leg, we do 10 of them. Let's count it down. Here we go for 10. Point that toe. Nine. Leg is six straight. Eight. Any version of the plank here. Seven. Maybe on your knee. Six or on your forearms. Five. Squeeze the glutes. Four. Keep breathing. Three. Shoulders away from those ears. Two. Last one. Fire hydrant kicks. Tabletop. We lift. Kick for 10. Lift. Kick nine. Lift, kick eight. Lift, that's seven. That's six. Woo, that's five, come on. Four, three. Little side crunch, two, and one. Hopefully your legs are feeling a little bit heavier like mine. Plank leg lift, left leg. Nice and steady, tuck those hips. Here we go, lift for 10. And lower, so I'm being supported. Nine, and eight. Seven. Nice strong core. Here we go for five. Keep breathing. Four. I don't want this leg all crazy looking. Three. Just has to be a couple inches. Last one. So in control. Is it in the game? Here we go. Fire hydrant. A little more power here. Lifting kick for ten. And nine. Woo. And eight. You can also just sit to a fire hydrant. Maybe no kick. Six. Come on. Five. Four, should be feeling that other side. Three, the one holding you up. Last one, straight leg pulls. Here we go, come on down. Or scissors, I like to call them. Here we go, lift up, right leg, 10. And switch, nine. We can try this one a little bit faster. Eight, and switch, seven, and switch. Can you press your back, your back a little flatter? Four. And switch, head up, three, point your toes, two, last set, and one, frog pulls, hands behind the head, or use that block for that little trick, press it into your head, it is soft so it won't hurt, here we go, inhale, kick out, exhale, pull it in, chin away from your chest, inhale out for two, exhale in, inhale out for three, glue those inner thighs, Exhale, knees to chest. Four, and in. Five, can you bring your legs a little lower? Six, can you lift your head, neck, and shoulders a little higher? Seven, woo, eight, like you're pressing your feet into a wall. Come on, two more, inhale. Maybe get a little lower without arching your back. Last one, and here's our teaser to finish class. Sit up, tuck that chin just a little bit. Also tuck those hips, here it is. Inhale, roll back, and exhale, lift. Inhale, down for two, exhale, lift. Maybe extend the arms and legs. Inhale, back for three, exhale, lift. Inhale, back for four, exhale, lift. Come on, we're almost there. Inhale, exhale. This is six, and lift. I'm doing a little bit lower intensity. Seven, and lift. Come on, eight. 
If you didn't try extending your legs, try it here and your arms. Nine. Woo. Chest up. Last one. Let's try to hold it. Last one. Hold right here. Maybe legs up for ten. Nine. Feet off the floor. Eight. Seven. Maybe arms and legs. Six. Oh my gosh, shaking. Pull those abs forward. Chest up three. Two. And roll forward for one. Oh my gosh, butterfly stretch. Woo! Great job, everybody. That was just about 20 minutes. Bar core. Hopefully you got a little bit of everything going on there. Let's bring the soles of the feet together. Just a quick minute stretch here, and then you'll be on your way. So knees off to the side. Now instead of rolling forward in this stretch, I actually want you to push your chest forward. And imagine your hips being pulled back in the opposite direction. So we're not bringing our nose to our feet. Push your chest forward as your hips pull back in the opposite direction. Or at least imagine they are. And then slowly, sort of release, you can shake that out. We'll bring that right leg up and over, sort of cross it over, and then we'll do a gentle twist here, extending that arm up. And then exhale, you can use your elbow or your hand. Sit up nice and tall, look over that right shoulder. So right leg is crossed, looking over your right shoulder, nice and tall. And then let's switch, left side. Left leg, look over your left shoulder. Inhale, and then exhale, either that hand, or elbow, gently nudging it in the opposite direction for a nice spinal twist. One more breath, and then back to the center. All right, we'll just finish in down dog. So nice down dog, pedal up those heels, lift the hips, press your chest towards your thighs. One more breath here. Knees down, and then roll up to standing, and just meet me right in the center of your workout space. Nice and easy. Shake out the arms. And then we'll take a nice inhale. Exhale, bend the knees and shake it out. And then one more. Inhale and exhale. You can take your bow or your curtsy. Great job, everybody. How are you feeling? <laughs>